Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to add Coyote Time in Contra 3 because apparently now every platformer needs to have it. Coyote Time is basically when you have a tiny window of jump period even when you're not on the ground. If done well, it's not noticeable but it helps the game a lot. So without further ado, let's get started. Here I have a player with the platform behavior attached to it and also the solid behavior attached to our ground. I've also imported the keyboard plugin. I'll also go to my player, scroll down, and uncheck the default controls. And now I'll go to my event sheet, right click, add a new global vari variable, set the type to be boolean, and name this jump. So basically the main premise of this is that when you're on the ground, you can jump. So that will mean that the variable is equal to true, and when you're not on the ground, we'll wait us some time and then set it to false. So that will, that will enable us to do coyote time. So back to our event sheet, we'll add an event, go to our player, and scroll down and check if you're on floor. If we are on floor, we'll go to our system and then set boolean, and then set our boolean to be true. Now we'll go and copy and then paste this. We'll invert this and set our jump to false. We'll also go to add action, system, and then search for wait. We'll be waiting some time. I'll put one second just to show you that this works, but usually it's like one, 0 0.1 seconds. So now that we have this, we'll also lastly add another event. Go to our system. Now we'll be checking if our boolean is set. That means if it's true, we'll be right-clicking, adding a blank sub-event. Now we'll be going to our keyboard, on key pressed. We'll be checking if we have pressed uh, the W key or whatever key that is assigned for jumping. Now go to our player, scroll down. So now this time we'll be using set vector y instead of simulate control because a simulate control the jump part works only when you're on ground and we don't want that because we can also jump when we're not on the ground. So hence we'll be using set vector y and then set it to minus and then your jump strength. So that's minus 650. So when you have this, you also just add the movement code for the rest of your player. So now that I have this, I'll be going to our play button and showing you how this plays and how it works. So here you can move around and jump. Now if I fall down, nothing happens because I waited a bit too long. So I'll just play this again and jump. So as you can see, we go ahead and we can still jump for uh, some time. Usually you change this to something small that like 0.1 or 0.2 so that it's not noticeable but it actually works.